You've heard of chicken pox, you've heard of cow pox. Now, get ready for monkey pox. But what is the monkey pox virus? Should we be worried? I'm Dr. Asmine, let me explain. So what's the news? Monkeypox is a rare and little known virus that typically occurs in tropical rainforest areas of West and Central Africa or people who have been to those regions. It's spread from animals or humans infected with monkeypox. But during May 2022, monkeypox cases have been found across Europe, the USA, Australia and other countries. This is an unprecedented outbreak. The number of cases is still small but it's continuing to rise and we aren't sure how these cases have spread so far and wide. Contact tracing and investigations are underway to figure out how these people acquired their infection. Let's quickly talk about the history of monkeypox. Monkeypox was discovered in 1958 when there was an outbreak of a pox-like disease among research monkeys. The first documented human case was in the 1970s in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Since then, monkeypox has typically been endemic in West and Central Africa, with most of the cases in the DRC and Nigeria. Monkeypox belongs to the same group of viruses as smallpox, although monkeypox is clinically less severe and less contagious than smallpox. Smallpox was eradicated in 1980 and smallpox vaccines were stopped pretty soon after, which leaves monkeypox as the most important remaining virus in this group. Before I go on to discuss monkeypox symptoms, a quick disclaimer. So what are the symptoms of monkeypox? It typically starts off with flu-like symptoms such as fever, headache, chills, fatigue, muscle aches and pains, and swollen lymph nodes. Within one to five days of a fever, the characteristic rash similar to chickenpox appears. The rash changes in appearance, going through different stages and then becomes scabbed and then the scab falls off. The person remains infectious until all the scabs have fallen off and there is intact skin underneath. Monkeypox is typically self-limiting and gets better in two to four weeks. But severe cases can occur and there are a range of possible medical complications. In recent times, the fatality rate is 3 to 6%. So how is monkeypox spread? It's transmitted to humans through close contact with an infected animal or human, or with material contaminated with the virus. It's transferred from person to person by close contact with lesions, bodily fluids, respiratory droplets like coughs and sneezes, and contaminated materials such as bedding. It should be noted that monkeypox is fairly hard to catch. It's not easily transmitted like COVID or the flu. How is monkeypox diagnosed? Clinical diagnosis is difficult, and the presentation may be confused with chickenpox, for example. If there is suspicion of monkeypox, then a sample needs to be sent to a specialist lab to do PCR tests to confirm a monkeypox diagnosis. How can it be prevented and treated? Treatment is mainly supportive, and most people will have a mild illness and recover within a few weeks without any treatment. As I mentioned, monkeypox and smallpox belong to the same group of viruses. Smallpox vaccines have been shown to provide protection against monkeypox. It can be used pre or post exposure and is up to 85% effective at preventing monkeypox. There are newer vaccines that have been developed specifically for monkeypox as well. An antiviral agent developed for treating smallpox has also been licensed for treating monkeypox. This is called Tecavirimat. Another antiviral called Sidofovir can also be used. So the real question is, should we be worried about monkeypox? Well, the risk to the public is still low according to the UK Health Security Agency as of the 20th of May 2022. However, this is a rapidly evolving situation involving an infectious disease, so we do need to remain cautious. Healthcare workers dealing with monkeypox cases should obviously have the appropriate PPE and the necessary infection control measures should be followed. If you're worried that you're displaying symptoms of monkeypox, please seek urgent medical help. If you want to find out more, I've left links in the description of the sources that I've used, including the BBC, WHO, UKHSA and NHS. I hope this video has been helpful. Please like, share and subscribe. Watch some of my other medical explanation videos right here. I'm Dr. Rasmine, stay safe and stay groovy.